Hey guys, it's Crazy Dash here, and today I am back with another Train Sim World 2 route suggestion. Today we will be talking about my other local train line, the Metrolink Antelope Valley Line. This was my first Dovetail Forums route suggestion, and I really wanted to remaster it. As of right now, there are no American passenger routes that are currently on the Dovetail roadmap. We only have two American freight routes, which are Cane Creek and the Clinchfield Railroad. Dovetail is aware of this, and hopefully soon we get an upcoming American passenger route. So expect most of the upcoming routes that I will be suggesting as passenger routes. The main proposed ideas I have so far for route suggestions are Sounder Commuter, Metra, and the Capital Corridor. So expect videos for those routes very soon. I do not own any footage within this video. All rights go to their respective owners. Anyways, let's get right into the video. For those who don't know about this route, the Metrolink Antelope Valley Line is a commuter rail line owned and operated by Metrolink. This route goes from Los Angeles Union Station to Lancaster. The route length is a total of 76.6 miles long and contains a total of 12 stops. Now of course this is too long as the longest run train in the world is only 50 miles. But if in the future Dovetail was willing to make a, a route longer than 50 miles, this may be a good option to try. If this route was to be cut down, the most logical decision to shorten the route is to end it at Via Princesa. This station is located at the edge of Santa Clarita. Making the route end here shortens the route to about 36 miles. This route also has a wide diversity of scenery, from the mountains between Palmdale and Via Princesa, to the neighborhoods of Santa Clarita, to the busy highways in Silmar, to the industries from Burbank all the way to Los Angeles. This route has a very good variety of scenery along the way. Now this may not be as scenic as a route like the Pacific Surfliner, but it is still a very nice route to look at. This route would be very similar to Peninsula Corridor as Metrolink is the only passenger operator on this line, along with Union Pacific sharing this line as well for freight. Metrolink also has a central maintenance facility located in Los Angeles where trains are maintained and stored. Some notable locations along the route are Burbank Bob Hope Airport, the Silmar Water Facilities and Freeway, the San Fernando Tunnel, and the mountains of Antelope Valley. Now we will talk about what would come with the base route. The core route would come with the EMD F125 electric diesel locomotive, Hyundai Rotom passenger cars, and the Hyundai Rotom cab cars. The F-125 was a replacement for the EMD F-40PH, EMD F-59PH, and EMD F-59PHI, and, and soon the MP36PH-3C. This train is capable of speeds up to 125 miles per hour and can carry up to 10 passenger coaches. Dovetail can also include the Bombardier bi-level coaches that you would see on the Baby Bullet on Peninsula Corridor. The bi-level coaches would be mixed in with the Rotom passenger cars for a randomized mixed consist. These coaches are used for extra capacity on Metrolink trains. There are also two other possible trains that could be included with the core route that I will discuss when I talk about the DLC for this route. For the newer gen Metrolink trains, they will need a custom horn. Luckily, they both use the same bell as the MP36PH-3C on Peninsula Corridor. The newer gen Metrolink trains use a Nathan K2 horn. Services, as of June 2016, only 8 trains operate from Lancaster to Los Angeles and only 9 trains operate from Los Angeles to Lancaster. 4 southbound trains on the weekdays operate between Lancaster to Newhall, 
so it would make sense to have the full route if the game was to have an expanded amount of timetable services. Two trains during the weekdays operate an express service during peak hours. The express train operates from Palmdale to Los Angeles. One of the trains travels southbound in the morning and the northbound service operates in the evening. The train stops at Santa Clarita, Silmar, and Burbank. An alternative to the lack of services is to use it its expanded amount of services in the past where 19 trains operate between Los Angeles and Lancaster in each direction on the weekdays. Six trains operate on weekends. Weekday trains mostly are in service during peak morning and evening hours while weekend trains are more spread out throughout the day. This may be a better alternative since it would give more pl give players more to do on the route. We will now talk about all the DLC options that could be included in this route. Keep in mind that most of these are the older and retired fleet of Metrolink. The MP36PHS 3C is the last operating old gen locomotive in Metrolink's fleet. Metrolink uses the exact same MP36's Caltrain, so the modeling of the locomotive can simply be recycled. This train still operates on Metrolink, so it would make sense to include this as part of the route and not just as DLC since they serve the same purposes as the F-125 along with not coming with any sort of extra roll stock. As the MP36 is an older gen Metrolink train, it uses a Nathan P2. It is different from Caltrain's P2 as their horns are much higher pitched compared to Metrolink's P2s. Dovetail could use the horns from Peninsula Corridor, but it would not be as accurate to real life. The 36 operates the same services as the F-125 as they are merged with the timetables. If this was included with the route, they can simply merge these in with the F-125 services. If this becomes a DLC, they could give the loco its own set of services as, as seen in Peninsula Corridor. The F-40s and MP-36s operate all current services in timetable mode, but when in-game, the services merge together. Union Pacific also still operates on this line. Some proposed locomotive ideas for Union Pacific are the ES-44, the SD-70 ACE, and the SD-70M. Freight services on this line would be mostly manifest trains and other types of cargo like on CSX Sandpatch grade. The situation with Union Pacific is there is only one major yard along the Antelope Valley line. The main one is located in Los Angeles. In San Fernando, there is a coal slash grain plant that hopper trains could interact with. In Silmar, there is a water plant that trains could use as well. However, there are no major yards in the Lancaster area. The nearest major yard it is located in Mojave, 20 miles farther down the line. This is most likely too far for dovetail, so making trains stop at a siding would make the most sense like what you would see in Sandpatch Grade at Rockwood Junction. Since this still operates on the line, it would make sense to add this to the base route as well. I'm going to talk about all the older gen Metrolink trains at once since they all serve the same purposes and have very similar sounds. Metrolink used to own one EMD F40PH in their rolling stock. However, it, it, it was put out of service once the F125s were beginning to replace the older gen fleet. An interesting fact about this locomotive is there was a petition to try to save the train from being retired, but unfortunately it still got retired. The EMD F59PH was one of the more popular locomotives on the older gen fleet. Only three of these still operate today as they are used as shunters for the Metrolink yards. This could open up for some extra missions as this loco can be used for shunting. However, I would still love to see this get its own mainline timetables as well. The EMD F59 PHI was another very popular locomotive on the older gen fleet. It is probably my favorite locomotive on Metrolink. All of them are unfortunately retired. These three locomotives all use the same sounds. They use a bell you would hear on the F40 PH on Peninsula Corridor and all use P2 horns. Metrolink has a couple different pitches for their P2s. 
Some have a similar tone to the horns on Peninsula Corridor, while some have a lower pitch that you would hear on the MP36. Here is a sample of their sounds. All these locos should get their own sets of timetables, and they would simply replace what currently operates on that timetable. This would give more to do on the line since Metrolink has much less services compared to Peninsula Corridor. The most logical idea for these three locomotives is to put them all in a bundle together as these locos will not require any new sort of rolling stock. They all serve the same purposes on the line, so it would make the most sense to, most sense to do this. Metrolink has a few different liveries for their older gen fleet. Metrolink currently uses a, a white paint job with it saying Metrolink in green on the side. There is al also a Metrolink green paint that is supposed to blend in with the road and passenger cars. They could also add the Metrolink livery that they used with their, with their old bi-level coaches. I would love to see this route get added to Train Sim World 2 in the future. There are quite a few different possibilities for DLC that could come with this route, primarily being expanding the Metrolink fleet with its older locomotives. The route has a great diversity in scenery, even if lots of the route is desert. There are a lot of eye appealing places along this line to give the driver lots to look at when traveling to Los Angeles. This would be a very nice fit to the Train Sim World collection since we don't have many American commuter train routes in Train Sim World 2 yet. This route feels different enough that it still stands out from Peninsula Corridor. This was the first train I ever got to ride so it has a very special place in my heart. Adding this to the game would bring back so many memories for me. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you would like me to cover an American route that you would like to see get added, feel free to post a suggestion and I may do it in the future. I encourage you to check out my other Train Some World 2 content. I do live streams very often and love making liveries for you guys in Livery Designer. If you would like to stay updated for this kind of content, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. It really helps out the channel and makes me want to make more content for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. See you guys!